flag. Let's see it. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Massachusetts Central Radio Show. I'm your humble host, Mike Mo, here for 271. Is it 271? 271? It's 271 or 272, I can't remember. Um, hello, everybody, and welcome. Uh, 12 more days before Christmas. Well, about to be 11 because uh, this day is almost over. It's about 11.30. Um, so, yeah, folks, hello and welcome back to the interesting story that is me. So, uh, it's 270. It is 270. Um, And it's going to be 272. Yep, it's 272. And thank you for the two viewers. And the, the radio, the gear change show got four. And, uh, you know, I, um, yeah, so it's 272, so tomorrow I'm not going to record. So 273 is going to be Wednesday, uh, 274 is going to be Friday, and 276 is going to be, um, Saturday, which is going to be another gear change show. And, um, 277 is going to be, I'm just counting how many, 277 is going to be Sunday, Monday the 20th is going to be, um, 278, 279 is going to be Wednesday the, um, yeah, 280 is going to be Christmas Eve. So I'm recording on the day. Uh, Two eighty one is going to be um, Christmas. I will record at the end of the day. Two eighty two will be um, will be twenty sixth. Two eighty three will be um, be Wednesday the twenty seventh. And 284 will be um, and then New Year's Eve. I don't know what I'm doing on New Year's Eve. Um, be 285. So we're gonna get. So we're gonna get to 280 something. So so we're gonna get to 285 if I play this right. We might get between 270, the late 270s, the early 280s. It depends on what I want to do. But we are in that time frame, folks, where. Um, where I'm going to, so I kind of had a feeling we were going to be at 280s, 270, 280 somewhere. So I think it's doable where we can get to 280, um, 280, 285. Uh, yeah, so, you know, pretty interesting run. So next week on Wednesday the 22nd is going to be the um, State of the Channel address. That's when I go over everything, go over all the stats, tell you guys what's been happening with um, tell, tell you guys what's been happening with the um, channel, see what trends have been going on and uh, see what you guys are liking and see what you guys are not liking and see what the audience is. I do all this so I can improve. Um, the viewing experience and continue the episodes <clears throat> um, and continue the episodes on and on and on so uh, you guys are going to be in very good hands um, for uh, for next year because which means if we hit like 285 if we hit but if we hit 285 on the 31st which I want to do and I'm driven to do this that's I think I've shot like four of these in a row, which is great. Um, 
we can definitely hit 290 by, um, well, seeing as we have like 25 days, since I have like 25 recording days and that potential recording days, I can definitely get into the uh, 285. Um, so if I record 25 next month, um, we're going to definitely get into the um, We're definitely going to be at 295 by the second or third week in, in uh, January. And, uh, yeah, the second or third week in February, uh, um, in January. And then we're probably going to hit 300 something by 300 something by the end of January. So we're going to be, so we're going to hit 300 sometime in January. So, but yeah, guys, I, I wanted to tell you guys what was what was on my mind and what we were going to do for that specific what we're going to do capacity wise. And now that's the holiday times, things are different. I'm I'm in I'm in a new level of I'm in a new level at work now. Now that I'm in multiple roles, now that I'm in multiple roles, which is fantastic. I, I had this planned all along. It's I don't want to tell my bosses that, but I had this planned all along. So I just gotta uh, I gotta play. I'm playing dumb, keeping my cards to my vest, and um, and playing them when I need to. Um, to be honest, uh, so and it seems that the management is sort of is going along with it. Like they don't know have like some of them don't have a clue, but. What my, what my plans are, and some of them do. I want the right ones to have what I'm to know what I'm doing, and I want the ones that I don't give a crap not to. So it's their loss, if not an upper management. This is upper management's game, so this is regional managers' game, Antonio's game. If you can get somebody that can, that wants to advance, but other people are aren't privy to it. So. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's people in my store that just want to stay put and don't want to move around because they're scared to. I mean, I'm full of energy and it's, and a lot of people have been asking me, is it because you're bored of products? And I'm like, no, it's because I've got the knowledge I need to. I need to spread that to other parts of the store. And they're like, oh, we don't want to. And I, I understand that they don't want to bust this up and they don't want to change anything because they think if they change something it'll it'll go south uh change is good so it goes to the old thing it is the more things change the more they stay the same because um because it's good because change is good good change flexibility could change is good um i think it's great so uh i just did a little i just do a little acting here and there just so i can keep the bosses guessing pretty much in terms of my, I mean, on the outside, I can look bored and all this other stuff, but really on the inside, I have a lot of energy and I really, uh, and I'm really just scheming behind the scenes. So, um, so it's like, you know, this is not meant to make anybody look good. This is for me to, you know, help out, uh, the corporation and, um, become more multifaceted as a worker. Um, it's not about boredom. It's few people have asked me that. It's not about boredom. It's not because I don't like it. I don't like my orders. It's just that I've learned enough. I want to move on, obviously, and um, and learn more of the sales floor, but so I can become more of an asset. So, and if I need to go back to and help them produce every once in a while, so be it. Because um, they're gonna sit there and like, um, wow. But he was, as I said, it's part of them keeping me guessing so that they don't really figure out who I really am. So, and what I'm really all about, because honestly, I'm not going to be around long. To be honest, I'm not going to be around long these guys long enough for them to realize what my dreams are, because... Because they're kind of like guinea pig. I, I hate to use this word, but 
this corporation I'm working for, this union, is more of a guinea pig for my future endeavors. So there's always going to be one, one peep, one group that's going to be a bunch of guinea pigs, and they're not really, they're not really there for me to. I'm not really at that job to please anybody. I'm not there to make anybody really look good, even though I act like I am. I'm not really there to please anybody and whatnot. I'm there to advance myself so I can go higher and so I can test my my strength and my old reflexes. And a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people at this point they've only seen me in my old my old state, uh, my older, well, my more my more worn state that I had back in the Target days. But this is more of the school days, and these guys do not know what that is. So. So I've switched to a um, persona that's really not, they really don't know how to, they don't know which way I'm, I'm really going or I'm moving fast enough mentally to where they don't really get it. And that's the design of this whole thing because uh, you have to think in order to survive in a corporate structure, you have to think faster, you have to think stronger. And you got to think silently to yourself in order to outdo your competition because the more advantage you have over your competition are the people who think that they're good. Usually those are the people that weigh themselves down um, with responsibilities and they stay complacent and they get too cocky and they just think they know everything. But um, so it's, it's not a, I have a lot of energy and it's not it actually it's not energy it's more drive most likely it's more it's more of a drive type thing with a guy with with a guy like with in guy terms um it's more drive and uh it's more drive most likely it's not energy it's it's mostly drive to do things. There's no, there's, I hate it when people use energy a lot, but energy helps generate, the, the thing that helps generate the drive um, is pushing yourself forward and thinking because energy, as you guys know, in, in any shape or form, if it's not doing anything, it's kind of idle. It's, it's kind of really useless. It's uh, going to have a mindset um energy is great it's great to have all the energy and it's great to want to go places and stuff like that but you gotta move you gotta keep your drive you gotta have something you gotta have an ideal or a setting uh or a setup where you can turn the energy into drive to go forward to push yourself forward and to learn more um and it just sucks when there's other people around you that don't really understand that um, in order to satisfy that drive, in my in my in my experience, in order for me to satisfy the drive inside me and myself mentally, I have to keep challenging myself to do more and and obviously that drive will help me learn more. Um, stress less, learn tasks, and go into things and switch modes without having to sit there and go, oh, this is going to be a hassle. I have to go back and do this crap. It's more like, oh, I know how to do this again. It should be a piece of cake. So, but most of these guys that I work with, some of them are like, oh, we have to do this crap again. This is horrible. You have to keep the mindset that Every opportunity you have to work and keep your hands full because when things shift around, you're just going to sit there and be like, oh, hey, this will be a nice little nice little challenge and stuff like that. And this is more of a request that I initiated um, and stuff like that. And based on how I did with the higher up that saw what I did in those aisles that day during the Nor'easter back in October, it's... It, it really just goes to how how big your uh, how uh, 
I don't usually use this terminology, but it's how big your nuts are, basically. For, for guys, it's how big your nuts Well, for women, too. It's how big your nuts are um, verbally, and, well, emotionally, verbally, and psychologically. Um, and uh, for guys, physically. So, um, well, yeah, I mean, uh, for women, it's psychologically and emotionally that gives them the, uh, that gives them the, the, the cojones, the nuts, so to, uh, to do whatever. So it would have I talk like that, but I know you guys have heard everything. So, um, but yeah, it's, and I've seen it in plenty of women, plenty of women have the drive, they have the set of balls to mentally and emotionally and, uh, to do that. Um, I know plenty of women that have advanced themselves and do it because they're confident in themselves and it's the way they should be because as a, I mean we're all emotional beings but um when women have that drive when they have that um that emotion to carry them same thing with guys too that's just that drive that they have I think men and women have have the drive both emotionally and metaphorically and that's what keeps us alive and that's what keeps us getting up in the morning and going to work and stuff like that that's what keeps me going knowing that i want to keep pushing myself and learn something every every darn day and better myself and it's just not that i don't want to and stuff like that so you know it's so that'll be good for 2022 and um seeing as the system and my work is a little flawed and they move changes all the time this might be an opportunity for me so the the more as i said the more things i learn i'm like you know i'll just strap back in here and i'll i'll do whatever so um and do it without question or without without a hassle i mean i i mean i said a few things when i was asked to move i said yeah you guys should be a little bit more prepared when i make a switch when they make the switch make the switch because um Dave and uh, Pete, my manager and the uh, supervisor of the floor, um, definitely know I want to do this, and um, and they're definitely going to tell the associated parties to get their act straight, so that they can utilize me a little bit more, so that they can utilize me a little bit more. But um, I'm just going to keep it in mind that I can do um, that if I do have to move around because there's some problem or if they have some issue. Um, you know, it's, it's right there. So I'm, so I'm, as I said, I'm a utility man and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I think 2022, 2023 is going to be, going to be fun, especially when I go back to school. But, um, I'm just going to have as much fun as I can making all this money that I'm probably going to make now that I know more than one area. So, um, and I don't think some of the people in some of the, I don't think some of the people in the store really want to do that because, um, but I guess I may have caught the eye of corporate like, oh, hey, this guy wants to move himself forward. He just doesn't want to lag behind in one area. It's about that energy. It's about that drive and um, corporations want that because obviously I'm playing to their strengths and they're playing to mine. Um, because I know how to speak their language without being, without being stupid. I can be very professional if I, I can be very professional and be, um, and also, you know, experiment with certain decisions because, um, business and as I've seen in history, whether it be an automotive or science, it's all trial and error. So, um, with tasks and, you know, improving the brand, I mean, um, Tesla wouldn't be, um, Tesla wouldn't have been sustain a sustainable company if they just made a roadster. They'd have to make a four door, a big four door, uh, a convertible, uh, not a convertible, but a, an SUV type, and then a truck. They're coming out with a cyber truck soon. Um, and I think they're also coming out with a semi too. And then they're coming out with a roadster, I think in 2024, 2025. I can't remember what, when they're coming out with it. Um, Oh, the coupe. It's not really a roadster. It's more of a coupe, actually, unless they have a, a detachable hardtop on it. Um, and all the automotive companies, they all have to do this because um, 
I'll uh, actually, I'll tell you that probably in the next gear change show because I can't utilize it. But all the companies, whether it be Ford with the GT40 or um, actually, you know what? I actually have the story for the. I actually have the. I actually have the story for the. Um, I actually have my uh, my topic. I mean, the trials and errors in the automotive industry and racing. So I just got my topic for. Uh, the gear change show on on Saturday, and I'll I'll research a bunch of them ones I know, and um, and uh, you know there's plenty of um, trial and error ones. I'm pretty sure I'll pretty sure Pano's in in uh, the LMS with one of their LMPs that was supposed to dominate the European entries, even though it never happened. But that's the gear change show. Uh, trial and error in in American motorsports. So that's gear change show topic for that. Um, so yeah, and it's let's see, about two fifty two, one fifty two. All right, guys. Um, I'm definitely gonna fun next next year and the year after, and uh, they're gonna move me around. Uh, the mainstay is, is I'm gonna make as much money as I can, and. I'm going to use all the skills that I have to, you know, work my way around, um, work my way around, um, all the obstacles and find my way through the company and, you know, make it as much more on beam and, uh, be cost effective. Well, I want to learn a lot of areas while being cost effective and, um, being efficient and cost effective. That's the number one killer. A lot of them scream about efficiency. And I noticed a lot of people think they're efficient, but they're really not. And they're wasting corporate corporate dollars on nothing. Um, I, I know the people in my store that do it. And there's a reason why they don't, why those managers really, why managers and employees don't really get very far in terms of opinion or stature because they're too, they don't have the nuts. They don't have the draft. I should, should I say the colonies, the rocks, um, to do it. So, so I do. So I'm definitely in the right direction. And this is, as I said, this is point all along. It just, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not getting too ahead of myself. I'm trying to unlock these ideals and these parts of the plan as I go to keep myself down so I can do this correctly without getting too far ahead of myself, which is a good plan. You want to regulate yourself on your way up. It's like, it's like scuba diving. You don't want to, you don't want to go up too fast because you'll get, um, you don't want to go up too fast from, to, from the bottom to the surface because you'll get decompression and, um, you know, you'll, you know, the CO2, you'll, you'll get poisoning from rising too fast and you'll, and you'll die from, from that because, you know, how it all is and so yeah so yeah that's the so yeah it's it's almost like that you almost have to be very careful when you ascend when you uh scuba dive because not that i've done it but i've read that if you go up too fast uh you can get poisoning and you can die if if you because oxygen uh at certain depths because oxygen at certain depths doesn't doesn't last because of the density, so um, doesn't last because of the density and the structure and everything. So uh, you don't want to take on too much. So that's my plan, and I'm proud of myself for taking these steps and being 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 mentally efficient and you know working these. It's better than me having to sit there and work um, the bugs out of me doing simple tasks at work it's more like trying to get up in the world and try to figure out what direction i want to go and see if people can follow me i'd rather test and test and fail test and fail on that sort of thing and apparently i've apparently i've succeeded in moving up and people noticing i have a lot of drive to to go forward um so obviously this was a and the reason why is because is because a person's, you know, other people's failures and other people's mistakes obviously leads to a game for me. Um, meaning I can become a utility man 
without them knowing it, it's like, they may think it's a step back or they may think it's just so we had to stick with our tried and true because we know nothing else, you know. We know nothing else when it's, when I just can just go back in and just slam around. I actually noticed when I was uh, in produce on Saturday, it's actually quicker, more efficient and more, um, and more attentive to my, to my tasks and, you know, just sitting there and whatnot and uh, just sitting there and whatnot. But it's, it, you know, the crew that they have in produce needs to be beefed up a little bit. Um, and I'm not really going to, and I will go back there just to make sure it stays stable. But I can tell that they need um, somebody who will put food down a little faster and serve the customers a little bit better. Something that I can do. It's if serve the customers. If anything, I can serve the customers very well, and they don't want to lose that, obviously. But I also need to go on the sales floor also. So it's is a bit of a balance, and they don't understand that I'm more guest service oriented as well. So. Um, which I do fine and, and they don't see that, but you know, they don't mention guest service at all. I mean, they said, oh yeah, you have to have, we want to have field presence. So, you know, you can, you can help guests and stuff like that. That is the first time in, that's the first couple of times in months in the conversations that, uh, that we've had that they've actually have uh, actually said that, you know, um, and, you know, it's just not about being there to assist the guests. It's, you know, having somebody just in there to assist the guests. It's, you got to have somebody in there all the time and presence is not enough. So, um, so yeah, they, if they're squawking about that, um, and it's just for presence because they want to look for something for a defect. I mean, it's, I serve people fine. You know, if it's, if somebody's out of the section because they have to go to the bathroom, um, it's not hard to, it's not rocket science to take a look around and see if there's anybody in the section and just sit there and go like, I want to, uh, I, I just got to sit there and say, can I really hold this or can I hold off not getting a drink of water? And it's the reason why I bring, bring a bottle of water with me in the section so I don't have to go up to the front and get a drink from a water fountain, not that I want to. I'd rather drink my own water out of a water bottle so I don't get sick from COVID because some guy put his mouth on the bubbler. Um, yeah, I'd rather have my own stuff. It's, uh, it, it, uh, it definitely uh, helps if you do that. So, alrighty guys, I'm gonna do this one to do. It's about 11, 11 59. It's probably be uploaded by, I don't know, 12.30. So, as usual, everybody, Long Live America, bless America, uh, Long Live America. Um, pray for all my friends, uh, past and present, and uh, all the souls out there that we've lost, either to, to um, we lost to uh, COVID or to natural causes. Let their spirits stay strong and let them keep, let us keep them in their hearts. Um, and uh, I will see you guys for 273 on Wednesday. So, so folks, and good night, folks. Sends the broadcast for today. And that's the way it is.